Hey, it's Yuri Experience and today we are talking about alkaline and reverse osmosis water. In the previous video, in this health category, we were talking about water. What is good about water, why do we drink water, and how much of water you need to drink. And if you haven't watched the previous videos of this whole series about basics of nutrition, link is in the description. Today we will be talking about reverse osmosis and alkaline water. It is a question of one of the subscribers. I'm really, really proud that I have a question and topic suggestion. Thank you a lot. And I didn't know about that almost anything because I just drink normal water. Still, it is an interesting topic. I didn't know that there is an actual controversy around that topic. I thought water is water, but still there is one. And I did a little bit of research and today I'll be talking about what I know th about that and what is my opinion about that. But before I go in that topic specifically, I need to discuss two things first. The first one is acidity of a substance and second one minerals in water. First acidity. About each and every fluid substance we can say whether it is acidic or not. Basically it depends on the relation between concentrations of some ions in that kind of substance. I do not want to go deeper, it is basically biochemistry. If you want me to go deeper in that, I can do an independent video about that. What you need to know now? There are acidic substances and alkaline substances. Basically our middle point is 7 and 7 is a neutral substance which is neither acidic nor alkaline and it is normally water. All the substances that have acidity lower than 7 are considered acidic and all the substances that have acidity higher than 7 are considered alkaline. And acidity in this case is pH level, you probably have heard about that. In our body we have different substances and some of them are acidic, some of them are alkaline, some of them are rather neutral, but be perfectly neutral is also almost important, but it's a different topic. Then the second topic, minerals in water. Basically, each water that you can buy consists not only of water, but also from some minerals, ions, salts. There's actually a lot of stuff going on in your water. The only exception is the distilled water. It's almost pure water. There's almost nothing else except for water. And it exists, but you shall never, never drink distilled water. Because of how our cell membranes work, if you drink distilled water which has no salts in it and no ions in it, this water will take all of the ions and all of the salts out of your cells which will lead to the destroying of the balance of salt levels inside and outside of your cells, which can actually lead to a lot of problems and also to death. Which is why water has some salts in it, some minerals, some salts, and it is a good thing, it's not a bad thing. And also basically distilled water doesn't taste like anything. Minerals that are in water provide some taste, but water itself doesn't have a taste. Now let's jump back to our topics. First, reverse osmosis water. Basically, reverse osmosis water is a water where a lot of minerals and ions were taken out of the water. Why do they do that? The reason for that is the fact that some of the salts and minerals that are in water are good for you, but some of them are not that good, at least it depends on concentration. Also, if you clean the water, you decrease the probability of contamination of that water. You decrease the probability that there will be some viruses, microbes, bacteria, what not. The fact is following. There is currently no proper science that can prove that this water is good for you. And there is basically no reason to tell why this water is bad for you, because it is water on the end of the day. And as long as it has some of the minerals, because if you bring all of them out, you'll have distilled water and it is bad for your body. So as long as it has some minerals, it's basically okay. What is my personal opinion? I personally don't think that it brings you anything good. I personally don't really see a reason for that, but also I live in Germany and we have drinking water from the tap. So it's good water from the tap. 
Which is why I can understand why people build in these filters in their house water system, but still I would consider putting there something that will bring some of the salts and minerals back into the water. Yes, you can bring some minerals back in water. Like that, you decrease the probability that this water will be way too distilled, so it will have way too little minerals, which can lead to health problems. But you still will have this filtered water, which will probably not have any contamination or whatnot, and will have less of bad minerals. And also the fact is, how bad is mineral for you depends basically on the concentration of that mineral in the substance. For example, a lot of people say that chloride is bad, but chloride is really needed for work of our body, for work of our cells, and also our gastric acid consists mainly of chloride, which is why avoiding completely is not really good for your body and also pretty much impossible because chloride is also in salt. Now alkaline water. Alkaline water is a type of water which, uh, because of some reason, has high pH level as 7 and normally it is connected to the fact that it has more minerals to it. There are two ways how you can create alkaline water. The first one being a natural way, because if you see water in original state, uh, in streams, in some rocks and mountains, it just goes between rocks and whatnot, and these rocks have minerals in them. And water takes some of the minerals out of the rocks and maintains them in itself. And also you can create alkaline water, I'm not completely sure how it works, but basically it's a different way just to create the same stuff. And the best part, again, there is little to no evidence that alkaline water has any positive influence on your body. Great, right? There are a couple of things that are rather connected to acidity in your stomach or in your gastric system, which can be influenced by alkaline water, but there are literally not enough studies in order to say something like, sure, alkaline water helps. Speaking of influence of alkaline water on acidity of anything in your body, acidity of different substances in our body is really regulated by our body. There are some barriers for pH level, for our gastric acid, for blood, for saliva, and our body regulates it perfectly. It doesn't need your help, it doesn't need your influence, and to be honest with you, it won't even bother if you will try. Which is why if anybody says to you, drink that or eat that in order to decrease or increase acidity of your blood, say, Yuri told me that this thing, or actually everything, has little to no influence on acidity or pH level of my blood. There are situations where your blood needs help, there are situations where your gastric acid needs help, but these are situations for medical specialists, not for some person from TV or internet which tries to help you. Don't trust these people who try to sell you some magic water which can help you with acidity of your blood or of your gastric acid, of, of, of anything. They just try to earn money out of you. If you feel that you need help with these things, go to a medical specialist. I've told you that already a couple of times, I will tell you that a couple of times, go to medical specialist if you feel that you need help. Don't trust these freaking people that just try to earn money on you. So, short jump back. What are my thoughts about alkaline water? Basically, since currently there is no proof uh, of that being really helpful, I think you don't really have to drink alkaline water. I mean, if you have an opportunity to drink water from a stream, from a source, from some creek, then definitely do that. I, based on my knowledge, there are some good things that, that are connected to that. But still, you don't have to. You can, you don't have to. In summary, my personal opinion, you don't really need either reverse osmosis or alkaline water. If your doctor didn't say you, okay, you need to drink alkaline water because you have gastric flux or whatever the name is, then listen to a doctor. But basically, if you are a healthy person, no, you don't need these strange kinds of water. Just drink normal water, bottle water, or if your country is good enough as my country, Germany, then drink tap water. It is literally like people are overcomplicating stuff. Water is water. 
Obviously, there are also other fluids that also consist mainly of water, like juice, like soda, like alcohol, like tea or coffee, and obviously they don't have the same influence on you than just water. But this and previous videos were about normal water. If you want to know more about influence of other fluids on your body, you can write in the comment below. I will do an independent video about that too. But basically, water is water. That's all. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. You can also subscribe to the channel. I do different videos about different topics. And next time I'll be talking about why you don't need to idolize somebody. Also, if you have any questions or topic suggestions, please write them in the comments below. I will respond to your comments. And also I will maybe do an independent video about that. Or I will read about the topic first. I do not know everything, but I do know a lot. That's all for today and I'll see you tomorrow.